Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. I did a video on remote ID a while back and I'm gonna put that video up here if you wanna check that out after this video. I'm putting this out because the questions that I saw in the original video, uh, some of the questions posted and I wanted to clarify a few things and answer a few of the most common, common or repeated questions that I saw in the comments section. So here we go. First, what is remote ID? Remote ID is simply the ability of a drone in flight to provide identification and location information that can be received by third parties. Okay, real simple. Next question, which drone pilots must comply with remote ID rules? The answer, all drone pilots who are required to register, use that word register, their UAS must operate their aircraft in accordance with the final rule on remote ID beginning September 16th of 2023, the end of the year, which gives drone owners sufficient time to upgrade their aircraft. I mentioned this in my previous video, but here's the most important dates that you need to be aware of. The effective date for remote ID are these. September 16th of 2022, which is passed, is the drone manufacturer comply by date for remote ID. September 16th of 2023 is the effective date for drone pilots to comply with remote ID, people like you and I. Now those dates are published here. I'll put it up somewhere on the FAA website for reference. And now for the most asked question that I saw in the comments, the question is this, I own a sub 250 gram drone. Do I need to comply with remote ID? And the answer is this, registration with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA here in the United States, is required for recreational drones that weigh 0 0.55 pounds or 250 grams or more and all drones flying under part 107. Here's the site which gives more detail provided by the FAA on what they consider to be a recreational flyer. So if you're flying as a purely recreational flyer as defined by the FAA, and your drone weighs less than 0.55 pounds or less than 250 grams. This means you do not, do not have to register your drone and in turn do not need to comply with the remote ID rule that goes in effect later this year, September 16th of 2023. Remote ID is tied directly to the FAA drone registration. So if you're not required to register your drone, then you're not required to fly in accordance with remote ID regulations. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like or even subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. That's it for this video. I just wanted to put together a quick video and answer the most commonly asked question that I was seeing in the comments of the previous video. I hope this helps. Take care and we'll see you guys soon.